Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. As the Minister knows, uh, today three employees at the Elgin Middlesex Detention Centre were charged in relation to the death of an inmate uh, in October of 2013. For years, the Ministry has known about the problems at EMDC, including severe overcrowding, understaffing and design flaws that prevent direct supervision. Why is this government failing the inmates, their families, Families and the correctional officers at EMDC by not addressing the understaffing, overcrowding, and design flaws at the facility. Minister of Community Safety and Corrections. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the member for her question. Mr. Speaker, I am aware of the charge. It would be, as she knows, it would be inappropriate for me to comment given the uh, ongoing criminal proceeding, as well as the Ministry's own internal investigation. I do want to offer, though, my condolences to the family and friends of the deceased. I know that the Ministry take its mandate uh, very seriously to ensure the well-being and health of all those in our custody. This government believes that everyone in our custody should be treated with respect and held in human and safe uh, condition. Despite best effort, Mr. Speaker, violence is yes, a reality sir. for correctional facilities everywhere. On a daily basis, correctional staff deal with and manage risk of inmate violence. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Minister, as far as I'm aware, there have been frequent lockdowns at EMDC, but no changes that will stop a situation like the murder of Adam Cargas from happening again. Minister, for two years now, we've been calling on this government to address the issues at EMDC. A class action lawsuit has been filed highlighting the concerns. What exactly is the minister planning to do so that overcrowding at EMDC does not lead to another death? Thank you, Minister. Mr. Speaker, as I said, health and safety of our staff and inmates is a top priority. And uh, I have, uh, as you know, I have uh, uh, introduced a 12 point plan to address concern at the MDC. I have met with the union in two occasions, and we have done uh, quite a lot of progress. We have uh, installed over 300 security cameras, we have a new control model, we have hired uh, 11 additional staff uh, as correctional officer position, and we have hired three surgeons and uh, one additional mental health nurses. We have now 24 hours nursing that has been uh, established, uh, resulting in seven additional nurses. We have now an, ad an advisory board yes, of volunteer community members. And, uh, Mr. Speaker, I will continue to work with the management and the union to improve the health and safety in EMDC. Thank you.